Welcome to Flying Basset Farm. This video in our series on how we grow pecans will show you how we harvest our pecans. After the shucks have split and the pecans have started to dry, we cut the grass short under the trees and use our tractor mounted shaker to shake the pecans out of the trees. As you can see, shaking not only brings the pecans to the ground, but limbs, leaves, and, and pieces of the tree that we may not want. So we have to use a cab tractor, otherwise we'll get pelleted on the head and, and who knows what would happen if these limbs fall on you. Behind the shaker is a crew that picks up all the fallen limbs which would clog up or damage the, the harvester. The next crew comes in with backpack blowers and blows the nuts and leaves out from around the trunks of the trees where the harvester can't get to. The harvester then starts circling the rows of trees working from the outer edge of the tree canopies towards the trunks. The harvester has rubber fingers that spin at high speed and they fling the pecans and anything else in its path up into a wide mesh belt that has a fan blowing through it. The leaves and much of the trash gets blown out the back of the harvester while the pecans drop into a reservoir where an auger sends them up to a collection bin on the harvester. When the bin is full of pecans, it is dumped into a gravity feed wagon so the cleaning plant crew can have a steady flow of pecans available to process while the harvester is out picking up the next load. The cleaning plant has large fan with adjustable dampers that can be set to blow out light nuts and pecans that are below market quality and any trash that the harvester managed to bring back. It has a set of brushes that will strip any shucks that might still be hanging onto the pecans. The machine works based on the weight of the pecan versus the size. The weight is an indicator of the oil content which, is, which a good pecan will have an abundance of. On the output side of the cleaning plant is a long belt where a crew inspects every pecan and discards any nuts that have defects like wormholes or off color or nuts that got broken in the process of harvesting. At the end of the belt, the pecans fall into either mesh bags or into a tub, which is then dumped into 1,500 pound super sacks. As with any complex operation, things can go wrong. Here the crew had to stop and open up the panel to clear the conveyor that got so jammed up tight with leaves that it just wouldn't go anymore and wouldn't clear on its own. But we got it going and we're back in harvesting. Thank you for watching how we harvest pecans and be sure to watch our other videos in our series on how we grow, harvest, shell, and turn pecans into our famous snacks and candy.